Okay, here is a concise presentation of the designs that I have to this point to develop the program that uh, is using technology to enable someone to learn and to program themselves with healthy habits faster and more effectively than anything else on the market. So if you will, I am building um, a la uh, rocket fuel that no one else has built to propel the learning process faster than before. So I believe that these elements, these exact designs are necessary and varying from these designs will slow the results, will slow the acceleration in someone learning and programming healthy habits. The seven elements as indicated in the patent, the three principles in the patent, these are, these are important as you read them. We're gonna be looking at designs that cause them to accelerate awareness by looking at their habits. We're gonna interpret them in a very simple way that causes the acceleration to happen. It is through simplification of the relevant truths that we find in physics, psychology, biology, psychology, and economics. That again is in the patent when I wrote, I believe in 13, that is causes the invention to work. If you don't use pure scientific principles, I believe the effectiveness of this technology weakens and slows in its ability. So simplifying scientific principles is necessary. When they start to accelerate their awareness, they're going to start identifying their habits of thought that all fit into these three areas with three sub areas in each of the area and then three habitats. <clears throat> Again, we're looking for simplification to the purest, most elementary uh, facet of being a human being. And with this, it causes the technology to function more effectively. <clears throat> this perspective begins to change as a design to enable somebody to learn by looking at the design as they interact with design. This is a active piece of, of a page where they click on it and it'll open up to examples and they click and they'll zero in on one aspect or one area or sub area of the life. So these designs are necessary to remind the user of the cause and effect nature of time and space. Again, simplification, this is in the patent in 12. <clears throat> I realized that we had to identify time and space effectively at the purest level so somebody could learn faster. So strength, speed, endurance, knowledge, skill, and wisdom are a fundamental element of all of the content in the back end that someone will interact with with these designs to create acceleration of learning and creation of healthy habits that cause an increase of ability. The three truths, <clears throat> which is basically the pages in the, in the patent that talk about um, uh, I think I mentioned where other patents may use a different one <clears throat> back then. And my understanding of what was patentable and not was different than it is today, not that it's complete yet. But um, this is the part of the book, if you will, that's necessary, in my opinion, to cause the invention to function at its highest level without the purity of identifying the time and space of being a human being, the technology does not work as well. <clears throat> Once again, simplification, breaking down the actual thought that the user, each time they look at something in their life, they break it down to the thought functioning at its most core level of attending to a need or desire to be aware of what they want or not. It's positive or negative. <clears throat> That's the simplification which makes the technology work better. Yes, makes a book work better, but it's working with designs for somebody to interact with and the interaction with the designs, which has information, accelerates the learning and accelerates the development of ability because they're always doing it the same way. This is just another perspective of need and desire being fulfilled or neglected. More designs. Designs cover more and more of the time and space of life that as the user interacts with, their learning becomes faster and a creation of habit and ability. <clears throat> so this, something quite important, I've um, been working on for about a year, but I just didn't have the ability to make the designs so that I could get to <clears throat> dividing the inner world into these three inner habitats, which I believe is very necessary 
to maximize growth uh, of learning, uh, maximize acceleration of learning. <clears throat> Polarity here, when the, when the user is able to compare a habit that they have about any thought or behavior that they have in their life, they will compare a negative habit they have with a positive. And it's very simple. There's just the, as it is in the patent that I wrote, the polarity is either positive or negative. It's either functioning to fulfill need or desire or not. And there's a purpose and an emotion. These fundamental, just three elements of each habit of thought helps the learner, uh, helps the user learn more. Great book, but necessary to make the, the, the dynamic design pages function in the back end to teach the user and to program themselves. <clears throat> Again, awareness. These are fundamental elements of a functioning person to help them learn faster. Behavior is the same way as the, uh, as the thought, the self-talk. Same thing, simple, positive, negative, functioning, emotion. This is an amazing <clears throat> element of the, of the technology that will cause a user to develop more awareness to catch the negative mindless self-talk. They'll identify their habits during the week relative to the three areas and the nine sub areas and the three habitats. And they'll identify how much of their conscious ability is being used in a specific habit. This is very important because when somebody has activities where they're there's a lot of free space mental ability because they're doing something that's not difficult. It's an opportunity for mindless self-talk and they need to ramp up their awareness. This type of distinction will help the borrower, the, the borrower, hello, the user learn faster, develop more awareness, develop more ability faster. Power and grace here, let, letting them gauge their, their habit at, at each time. They're analyzing each habit of thought to accelerate developing awareness the outer world here. This page, I believe, is going to be significant. It is necessary. It is unique, I believe, and it's uh, very powerful. Cycles of ability. Once again, simplifying the, the, the technology, simplifying the back end, the artificial intelligence necessary to make this technology work fast, to make it work the most effective possible for any human being. We simplified all of time and space into cycles of three. Very relevant. <clears throat> These function in, in the back end when they start to analyze their life like this. And it also develops when they get into programming, when they get to uh, uh, choosing to practice positive stuff. Now, these open up into the definitions of what they apply to. And those become relevant. I'll cover this down here later when they're at the conscious dashboard. Now, this is something I, I um, finally got to. I thought of creating it for about a year or so as I started to design. But this design here combines these necessary elements for somebody to quickly develop a, a very functional understanding of their life so they can learn faster, so they can then choose to practice higher levels of ability and change their life faster and more effectively. So these perspectives of any individual experience, they see where it happens during the week, they see how it's happening in their life, and then they see this very finite focus in on a specific habit. They can also see the definitions of it as it applies to the, this specific task of taking care of something in their life, whatever it is, and this earning in this case, it could be being a parent, it could be being a friend, whatever, a mate. And they have these options here. Now, this, this very uh, it, detailed belief, although it's simple, three here, three here, aligning awareness, power, and grace. That's pretty much it, right? And then what happens is they go here and they're able to see an animation. We could go here where they see the breakdown of, of the specific habit that's filling their week. It's very important that they find the habits that all fit into the areas of life, right? So they look at this one habit and they see an animation of their abilities and where that's low ability, that's causing them to struggle in a specific area of their life. Without th this design here, without these definitions, this back end animation won't work. It won't work. This animation to give somebody a view of somebody adapting to life in a situation where they're struggling won't work without these definitions. It might, but it, I don't think it would. You, 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 it would have an inconsistency 
in, in the, in the borrower, in the borrower, I keep calling it a borrower. When the user is learning the consistency of interpreting the experience with these measurements and, and these elements that define ability, and then the, 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 the very precise interpretation of each habit of thought, this is what causes the, the technology to, to accelerate learning. So they can compare the negative with the positive. They can view the, the high performance of, of a challenge that they're dealing with in their life. And they can watch somebody from different perspectives interact with that part of their life with more ability. That's going to be huge because once they see this and they can compare it with what is their current reality, all of a sudden they can load it into the, to the practice sessions and they can go into virtual reality. <clears throat> now this virtual reality is different than other virtual realities. This won't be interactive with their head. If they take a couple of steps and turn the head, they'll look like they're in another room. That's not the purpose of this virtual reality. This virtual reality is for the purpose of simply blocking out the distractions so the person can relax into alpha, develop their imagination by doing something that's been around for thousands of years, and that's to imagine positive content. This is psychotherapy. Neurolinguistics programming does this. Well, what we're doing is we're using technology to empower the user to do it more effectively with interacting with, with images that, that, that describe a, a level of performance that they need to aspire for to free themselves from the negative circumstance of their life because of their negative life. They're in here and they're seeing the video of what it looks like to be at a, performing at a higher level where there's pain and struggle, mental lack of health in their life. All of a sudden they imitate it and through imitation it, neurolinguistics programming, that thought is programming their brain cells with new information that will empower them to adapt to their life more effectively. So we're using technology to employ um, techniques and, and technology of the past that was not readily available because of lack of training of, of skilled people that are available to the people of the masses. Well, this program will bring a high quality psychotherapy and mental practice to the marketplace not requiring a person to be there so people can get healthier and more available with less cost and more readily available. Uh, more readily available, I said that twice. So um, and this is very important. <clears throat> this is something that, not sure if it's patentable, but uh, it is amazing. And that is that the, uh, this is the last thing I made. I made this in the last couple of weeks, but I've been working on it for a while. But, uh, this is bringing math, uh, dividing time into blocks of breath. So when somebody meditates with a breath pattern of four seconds or five seconds, it gives him the number of counts. And each count is a word of the cycle of the power and grace of ability we find on this page. And these cycles of, of ability and grace and space are fundamental which will cause the technology, the AI of this invention, because of its simplification to function more effectively than competitive uh, products that will probably choose to copy this because it's unique, because of the uh, simplification of what is accomplished because of all the hours I worked on it. Now, because I'm faster to get there, that's for sure. So, so the, these, this again, I think this might be more a great book, but the technology works better because of this simplification. And so these cycles, the person just breathes and, and then engages one word for the breath. And what's amazing about this, using the using the virtual reality will cause them to really be super powerful focused. When these words are displayed with timing in the in the in here. And all they can see are these words and the timing and they're, and they're executing with their best effort and imagining and relaxing. This is where their life will be transformed amazingly by using, by identifying the key elements of, of meditation that have been around forever and, and cr turning it into a mathematical uh, uh, tool that they use dividing time and, and dividing thought into fundamental elements of adapting to life. And when you combine the two, 
and you put them into an artificial, um, into a virtual reality, all of a sudden the user can really grow quickly, incredibly increase their awareness and the, and the start of new habits because of synergizing all of these elements to use technology in a way that brings about accelerated growth. Uh, so this is what I have to this point.